My name is Pam Burnside. I'm the owner of the Dungalik Studios Art Gallery here in Nassau, Bahamas on Village Road. And I'm the wife of the late Jackson Burnside, who was a cultural advocate, a Junkanoo, an artist, an architect, and he actually designed Marina Village in Atlantis. We started uh, Dungalik Studios in the 1970s, probably before a lot of people who were watching this were born. We met actually in London. Jackson was uh, doing another degree in his architecture. I was studying fashion design. And when we got married, it was, of course, during the time of independence in the Bahamas in 1973. So we were very intent in coming back to Bahamas to make a difference. And so our mission was, we believed in the Bahamian artists. We believed in Bahamian culture. So so we were very intent in being able to show how rich a culture we had to the rest of the world because it's a, a little known secret. Paradise Island, as you know, is a separate island from the city of Nassau. In our day, you couldn't go over a bridge because there was no bridge. You actually had to take a boat. Atlantis has done the, the right thing because they have made the bridge not only from Nassau to Paradise Island, but they have made the bridge from the people to the visitors. In Atlantis, in the hotel itself, there are large paintings that Jackson and his brother and John Beadle did together. They're the Jammin series. Jammin was a collaboration that his brother um, decided to do, and it's three artists working together. So just as jazz musicians are able to, to work off each other's energy, they decided to do it in art and paint, and it was a fabulous experiment that worked. Jackson's spirit still lives on. We were very intent to continue the mission, my daughters and I, and so that's why the legacy lives on here at Dungalik Studios, and we have not given up the, the passion and the commitment that we have to make sure that Bahamian art, culture, and heritage is known throughout the world. It is allowing us to be who we are, to be able to share who we are as a people with our visitors, again, welcoming them into the country. It's a very freeing type of attitude because they can just be who they is. <laughs>